In their last home game of the season, which was nationally televised, the Troy men's basketball team hosted their regular season Sun Belt champs, Texas State. The Trojans hoping to send seniors Khalil Waters and Nick Stampley off with their final win in Trojan Arena started off strong thanks to Effie Odigi, who scored 11 points along with six rebounds in the first half alone. Odigi put the Trojans ahead 20 to 19 by going on a seven point tear by himself with 640 left in the first half. Effie, uh, you know, it was a great matchup, Texas State. He played unbelievable down there. He played great down here. I mean, he's hard, he's hard to stop, and uh, you know, they threw a couple double teams at him, but when he's one-on-one -on -one in the post, he can score on just about anybody. However, Texas State would take the lead shortly after with a little over four minutes left in the first half. This would prove to be the turning point of the game for the Bobcats, never trailing Troy for the rest of the game. In the second half, senior Khalil Waters would step up big for the Trojans as they found themselves in an 11-point deficit before Waters led a 9-0 run for the Trojans, cutting the deficit to two at 48 to 46, with over five minutes left in the game. Khalil, you know, it was his last game in Trojan Arena. He laid it all on the line. He played as hard as he could. Uh, was able to get some steals and some transition buckets and was very, very efficient for us tonight. This would not phase the Bobcats, however, as they would not miss from the field and making seven of eight free throw attempts in the final five minutes of the game. The Trojans would keep fighting, however, thanks to an N1 from Kiefer Punter, cutting the lead to just four with 12 seconds to go in the game. From there, thanks to four made free throws from Texas State, the Trojans fell to the Bobcats 66 to 61 in their final home game of the season. Yeah, we uh, we played extremely hard as a basketball team. Our guys uh, did a great job on the boards. I thought we played really good defense. I think it all came down to Caleb Asbury and Mason Harrell just hit tough shot after tough shot against us. The Trojans will quickly put this loss behind them as they head to Pensacola, Florida this week for the Sun Belt Tournament. We'll try and get our guys rested, give them a couple days off to recover, um, and then we'll start preparing. Uh, we'll play either South Alabama or Little Rock in the first round, and we'll be prepared for either team that we face.